Now I am changing the value of uniformly distributed load on the slab from 2 to 3 kN and per square meter. Our EUDL calculations predict a shear force of 7.875 kN and a fixed end moment of 8.250 kN meter for the long span beam, and a shear force of 3.375 kN and a fixed end moment of 2.25 kN meter for the short span beam. Software generated results shows a long span shear force of 7.875 kN, a fixed end moment of 7.943 kN meter, a short span shear force of 3.375 kN, and a fixed end moment of 2.113 kN meter. Let knowledge flow like a river without any hindrance. Don't make it like a stagnant pool. Hi everyone. I hope you're all doing well. Today, I am P.S. Jaturji, and I'm back with you on the Structural Design Only channel. The diagram on this slide represents a scenario where we have a slab resting on a beam. The load coming from the slab, denoted by the Greek letter omega and say unit of omega is kilonewton per square meter, is distributed across the slab. We also have the short span of the slab, denoted by Lx and long span as Ly and unit of Lx and Ly are in meter. Today's topic is one of the most important concepts in structural engineering, EUDL, which stands for Equivalent Uniformly Distributed Load. As the name suggests, EUDL is a uniform load that we can use to achieve an approximately equivalent effect on a structural element compared to a more complex loading scenario particularly for calculating shear force and bending moment. EUDL Components There are actually two types of EUDL. EUDL for shear force, this helps us determine the shear force acting on a structural element. EUDL for bending moment, this helps us determine the bending moment acting on a structural element. So, why do we use EUDL? Simple. When we have a situation with multiple, complex loads acting together on a structure, using EUDL can significantly simplify the analysis process, making it easier to find solutions. Before we move on to the next slide, if you are new to the channel, I'd really appreciate it if you hit that subscribe button. Structural design only offers a unique perspective on civil engineering, and it's the perfect channel for anyone who wants to learn more about this field. This channel is a one-stop shop for civil engineers, providing comprehensive content to help you excel in your career. All right, moving on to slide number three. Here, we'll delve into the specifics of EUDL for a slab beam. Understanding slab load distribution. In my previous slide, I explained the terms omega, LX, and LY. As mentioned, the ratio of LY to LX is represented by the letter R, calculated as R equals LY by LX. Trapezoidal UDL and equivalent uniformly distributed load or EUDL, along the long span. This trapezoidal load on the slab is what we will convert into an equivalent uniformly distributed load, which we'll designate as W1 and W2, Acting on the long beam and unit for W1 and W2 is kilonewton per meter. 
Equations of EUDL for shear force and bending moment. The equations you see here provide the formulas for calculating the EUDL for both shear force and bending moment. EUDL for shear force, W1 equals 2, omega into LX, by 2 into, 1 minus 1 by, 2 into R, kilonewton per meter. EUDL for bending moment, W2 equals 2, omega into LX, by 2 into, 1 minus 1 by, 3 into R square, kilonewton per meter. Beam due to the trapezoidal load from the slab, simplifying the analysis of shear force and bending moment in the beam. So, to summarize this slide, we learned about EUDL in the context of a slab beam. We saw how a trapezoidal load distribution on the slab can be converted into an equivalent uniformly distributed load acting on the, the long beam. The equations provide a way to calculate this EUDL for both shear force and bending moment analysis. Now I am switching over to the next slide. In the previous slides, we focused on EUDL for long spans. Now, let's explore how EUDL can also be applied to short spans. The load transferred from the slab to a short span beam often takes the form of a triangularly distributed load. Equivalent uniform load for short spans. Similar to long spans, we can convert this triangular load into an equivalent uniformly distributed load acting along the short span of the beam. This simplifies the analysis of both shear force and bending moment in the beam. Equations for AUDL The equations provided here allow you to calculate the AUDL for a short span beam with a triangular load distribution. AUDL for shear force, W equals, omega into LX, by 4, kilonewton per meter. EUDL for bending moment, W equals, omega into LX, by 3, kilonewton per meter. Here, omega represents the total distributed load from the slab, in kilonewton per square meter, and LX is the short span of the slab. Consistency in analysis approach, using EUDL even for short spans maintains consistency in your overall analysis approach. This can be helpful for engineers who regularly work with both short and long spans, reducing the need to switch between different calculation methods. Efficiency gains while the simplification for short spans might be less significant compared to long spans, EUDL can still save some time and effort compared to calculating the exact shear and moment for every point along the short span, especially when dealing with multiple short spans or complex loading scenarios. Standardization, in some engineering practices, there might be a standardized approach that utilizes EUDL for all spans, regardless of length. This can improve communication and collaboration within a team. It's important to note that depending on the specific situation and the level of accuracy required, it might be more efficient to directly calculate the shear and moment for short spans without using EUDL. I won't delve into the equations just yet, but these formulas are key for calculating the equivalent load on the beam due to the slab. This simplifies how we analyze the shear force and bending moment acting on the beam. 
We'll explore these equations in more detail in a future video. Now, let's take a look at some practical examples. To demonstrate the effectiveness of EUDL, I'll be switching over to my Excel spreadsheet. Alright, let's switch gears and take a look at a practical example in this Excel spreadsheet. Here, we've set up a simple model to compare the results obtained using the EUDL method with structural analysis software. In the top left corner, we have the variables, omega representing the uniformly distributed load on the slab, currently set to 2 kN within per square meter and changeable, LX the short span length, 3 meters, LY the long span length, 5 meters, and R the ratio of LY to LX. These values can be adjusted to suit different scenarios. The blue text represents the input values we can modify. The red text displays the automatically calculated results, such as R, AUDL, shear force, and bending moment, which we'll be comparing to the results from software-generated results. Now let's focus on the results. With a uniformly distributed load of 2 kN within per square meter on the slab, our EUDL calculations predict a shear force of 5.25 kN and a fixed end moment of 5.5 kN meter for the long span beam, and a shear force of 2.25 kN and a fixed end moment of 1.5 kN meter for the short span beam. Stud.pro which shows a long span shear force of 5.25 knots, a fixed end moment of 5.295 kN meter, a short span shear force of 2.25 kN, and a fixed end moment of 1.408 kN meter. Now I am changing the value of uniformly distributed load on the slab from 2 to 3 kN within per square meter. Our EUDL calculations predict a shear force of 7.875 kN and a fixed end moment of 8.250 kN meter for the long span beam, and a shear force of 3.375 kN and a fixed end moment of 2.25 kN meter for the short span beam. Software generated results shows a long span shear force of 7.875 kN, a fixed end moment of 7.943 kN meter, a short span shear force of 3.375 kN, and a fixed end moment of 2.113 kN meter. Now I am changing the value of uniformly distributed load on the slab from 3 to 4 kN within per square meter. Our EUDL calculations predict a shear force of 10.5 kN and a fixed end moment of 11 kN meter for the long span beam, and a shear force of 4.5 kN and a fixed end moment of 3 kN meter for the short span beam. Software generated results shows a long span shear force of 10.5 kN, a fixed end moment of 10.59 kN meter, a short span shear force of 4.5 kN, and a fixed end moment of 2.817 kN meter. Now I am changing the value of uniformly distributed load on the slab from 4 to 5 kN within per square meter. Our EUDL calculations predict a shear force of 13.125 kN and a fixed end moment of 13.75 kN meter for the long span beam, and a shear force of 5.625 kN and a fixed end moment of 3.75 kN meter for the short span beam. 
software-generated results shows a long span shear force of 13.125 kN, a fixed end moment of 13.238 kNm, a short span shear force of 5.625 kN, and a fixed end moment of 3.521 kNm. As you can see, the differences between the EUDL method and the software results are very small, demonstrating the effectiveness of EUDL for simplifying structural analysis. Hey everyone, thanks for watching. Before we wrap up, I wanted to talk about something important for the future of this channel. As you know, the channel focuses on civil and structural engineering topics, which can be quite niche. While the content is valuable for engineers, it might not be the most engaging for everyone. Here's where you, my fellow engineers, come in. This channel is approaching 3,500 subscribers, which is fantastic. However, watch time is lagging behind. If you're an engineer and find this content valuable, please consider liking the video, subscribing to the channel, and leaving a comment below. Your engagement helps the channel grow and allows me to keep creating content specifically for you. Together, we can build a strong community for civil and structural engineers on YouTube. Thanks again for watching, and see you next time.